Verinder, Jatu. Thank you, dude. I appreciate. It was it was awesome, man. It was unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, first time. I think it showed anyway. Welcome your next comic to the stage. Welcome Verinda Jatu. Alright, thanks. This might come as a shocker to a lot of you, but I'm from Surrey. <laughs> yeah. If you couldn't tell. But I'm proud of you from Surrey, because Surrey is the greatest city in the world, and the people are the greatest people in the world. Surrey only gets a bad rap because the assholes from Surrey are the greatest assholes in the world. <laughs> like, if you cut off an asshole from Vancouver, he might honk at you, maybe give you the finger. If you cut off an asshole from Surrey, he's going to write down your license plate number, but he's not going to be reporting it to the police. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna use that license plate number to extract your home address, and then you're gonna go around telling everyone, people from Surrey are fucking assholes. <laughs> but I just moved out of Surrey recently. I was living there with my girlfriend, and it was fucking traumatizing. You ever have one of those nights where you get home at like six in the morning, just as your girlfriend is leaving for work? Dude, coming home at six in the morning when you live with your girl is like coming home to a female pit bull that hasn't been walked in a month. <laughs> like the second you put the key in the door, you can hear her on the other end. It's like, hur, hur. <laughs> oh shit, she's awake. <laughs> there are too many rules, man. You just can't go out with Dave on a Wednesday night when you live with your girlfriend. They always want to tag along and shit. Why can't I come? Because you're going to cock block Dave. <laughs> that girl's dressed like a slut. Yeah, that's why we're buying her drinks. <laughs> oh my god, she's so fat. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> we're hoping with the combination of alcohol and her insecurities, Dave might get laid. <laughs> Trying to get the biscuit in the basket, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't stand living with her, man. She was always fucking there. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, you try taking a shit, and she's right there. You try jerking off, and she's right there. You're running late for work, you try taking a shit and jerking off at the same time? Yeah, and she just stands there and judges you. I gotta get my car fixed too, man. <laughs> Sometimes while I'm driving, my, on the highway, my car will just go limp. Like it just had an orgasm or something. <laughs> like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You know your car is a piece of shit when you gotta use the reactions of the people driving past you to find out what's wrong with your car. <laughs> oh shit, that guy looks like he saw smoke. <laughs> Fucking radiator again. <laughs> my life's a mess, man. My car's a piece of shit. I had to leave my beloved Surrey. <laughs> and now all my childhood friends are getting married, and it's fucking heartbreaking. Here's my problem with getting married. They make you sign a lifetime contract that binds you to another person forever. Getting married should be like getting a cell phone. You sign like a three-year contract. <laughs> And if after those three years are up, and you aren't pleased with the service, you just switch providers. <laughs> Nothing about getting married makes any sense to me. Like the honeymoon? You get to spend a week with the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with anyway? <laughs> Dude, I'll probably never get married, but if I do, my wife will not be attending the honeymoon. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just really selfish, but I don't want any of my friends to get married. I wish all my friends were gay and we lived in Alabama. <laughs> then nothing could possibly go wrong. 
I want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. You guys are awesome.